Some of the numbers uh, look good just if you don't look into them, but iPhone, I guess a little bit less, a little bit light for revenue, services a little bit light for revenue, Tony. Is that quibbling? Is that, um, should we be pointing to those things? The stock is called higher. Thanks, Joe. No, I, I do think it's quibbling. On, on balance, Apple grew reported revenues 8%. Uh, at constant currency, they grew 14% against the tough comparison. So this was a, a portfolio in the quarter that did uh, that did very well. And I think really the question is all about expectations going forward and how strong the iPhone 14 cycle might be. What's the difference between Apple and the other companies that we mentioned? And some, you know, it's been pointed out that pandemic tailwinds for some of the other companies are no longer there. And then it was pointed out that that Apple still has some tailwinds. Is it a longer product cycle? Should it be viewed differently than some of the companies that had some very disappointing numbers? Why is Apple still benefiting from pandemic-related effects? For a couple of things. Uh, the first is, is that Apple has a whole slew of new products uh, with a new iPhone, a new watch, and new Macs. And, um, and so they're continuing to see strength this quarter. Again, I think the operative question is, Apple's most strong buyers, its loyalists, always buy their new products. And, and so the question is, as you extend beyond those loyalists in the forthcoming quarters, whether that will persist. I think the second difference is, you know, Apple is not really trying to pivot its business, uh, let's say, like a, like a meta. Um, and so expense management and margins were really strong. And I think some of the issues we've seen with, with other companies have, have not only been top line issues, but have also been expense and margin related issues. If the world slows down and if we here I mean, in Europe, we're going to be very tough. People think to avoid recession. I don't know whether we're out of the woods here. What would that do to, to Apple's results and to its stock price if over the next six months we we see much slower global growth? It would be difficult for Apple not to be impacted. About 90 percent of its revenues are transactional, i.e. they're not recurring or subscription. And so if you have a fundamentally weaker economic backdrop, Apple would certainly feel that. And look, I, I think it's important to note Apple didn't really give guidance for the December quarter. They simply said, we will grow less than the 8% we grew this quarter. My, my sense is it's unclear they think they can grow and they have an extra week that's gonna help them seven points. So if we literally think through their guidance for December and we adjust for the extra week, Apple's essentially saying revenues are gonna be down next quarter. And so I think, you know, all things being equal, it, it is seeing some incremental headwind looking forward.